Hi, Alexa here with How's Pro. Today we're talking about how to create and apply retainers and credits. This way you can ensure upfront payment for your time. To create a retainer, simply go to the Manage category in How's Pro. Select Projects, and then select the project for which you want to create the retainer or the credit. Then click on the Retainers and Credits tab and select the blue button where it says New Retainer. Now we can go ahead and fill out the details of the retainer. We can change the quantity and the unit. We can make it hours or just the cost of the retainer. And then this will show us the total. And we can go ahead and preview and share a retainer with our client. We'll be able to see exactly how it's going to look. We can check off if we want to show them the quantity in the unit and then go ahead and confirm and send once we add in a subject in a memo. Now we can go back and head to our retainers list by clicking the tab at the top left and we'll see our retainer clearly listed. Now let's talk about applying a retainer. We recommend using the House Pro online payments feature where your payments will be logged automatically. To manually log a payment, you can do so by first logging the payment by clicking to the right of the status, clicking log a payment and inputting the details, then click done. And suppose we want to apply this retainer to an estimate. We're going to go to our approved estimate and apply the retainer. And now under the payment section in the estimate, we're going to log a payment. And in the payment method, we'll click apply retainer. We'll input the amount for the retainer we wish to apply and click done. And you can also split a retainer into multiple payments by applying a portion of it. Now that our retainer has been applied, we'll see that clearly listed in the green section. We'll see payment due and we'll also see in the activity stream. Now we'll talk about creating a credit. Credits are useful for situations where your client has already paid you for a project and then in the meantime, the material costs or the quantities of items on your project have been decreased. So here we're going to go ahead and simulate that. We're going to lower some of these line items. And we'll see that we actually end up with a negative balance. Once we're finished adjusting our invoice, we can go ahead and issue it. We'll click confirm on this notice. And now we'll be able to see confirmation that our credit has been created. We'll see this message on the bottom of the screen. We'll also see the credit shown on the right hand side. And then if we head back to our project and click on the retainers and credits tab, we can see that our credit is there and clearly listed. Try for yourself using retainers and credits. Thanks for watching.